Hey friends, my name is V. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on your sexuality. What is your sexuality? What is your preference? For those of you who need help with this topic or help figuring this out, I can try to help you get there. I'm using my intuition and my oracles. So this is the first time I'm doing this and I think this will be very, very helpful for those of you who are looking for more answers for yourselves for yourselves for yourself um so i yes i I'm, I'm really excited to get to this one so if you're new please subscribe if not thank you for coming back and tomorrow i will be posting a new one so every morning join me for a new pick a card so let's get started i have pile one pile two pile three please take a deep breath in and out with me So we can clear our minds and make intuitive choices. Which pile is really calling your name? I would inspire you to watch the full video, but I know that you don't have time to do so. So choose with your intuition. And then if you want a second option, we have crystals. Number three, you're getting the love quartz. Pink love quartz. Rose quartz, sorry. <laughs> Number one, you're getting the smoky quartz. And number two, you're getting the calcite. All right. There you go. Timestamps and decks that I'm using will be down below. You chose pile number one. Thank you for being here. So for you, pile number one, this is a lovely reading. So if you're questioning yourself, if you're if you have like a little bit of a inclination, but you need the push, you need the you need validation or um, some kind of like clarification. Like, yep. OK, that's exactly what I've been thinking about. Thank you. You just you helped me put a thumb on it. Now I know what the heck is up. All right. So this is what's, what I have for you. I feel you are gender fluid. You are. There's no label. We can't put you in a label. I don't like categories because then you feel like you have to master up to that label or level up to that label or, you know what I'm saying? Live up to that label. Like you have to own it and then be that all the way through or else you won't be that label or else you can't relate. I don't like labels. I try not to use them. But in order to explain what I mean, I'm going to say that this energy is very gender fluid. So you can be vibing with a female and take you take that and you just explore that and wherever it leads you it leads you you can be vibing with the male wherever that takes you you explore that and it leads you where it leads you so you, it's very very yeah it's very very gender gender fluid like you're just yeah it's it's just it's just like spirituality you know it's just the energies are fluid it's just like it's like there's a flow so restful energy, I think, so, okay, in my, we have the restful energy, boundaries, breaking illusions, clarified by scattered, justice, clarified by the fun card. So in this position, my restful energy with boundaries, we have this, what you need to know. So I feel that you, pile number one, I think you might be a little bit all over the place. And let me just say that just because people are gender fluid, it doesn't mean or bisexual, biromantic, um, or heterosexual, but biromantic. Like, there's so many different labels. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm just trying to find um, an explanation so, I can un so you can understand what I'm saying. Just because you're, you're gender fluid doesn't mean that you're having five people in your bed or five people in your life that you're romantic romanticizing or whatever, being intimate with. The people that need to get that stuff out of the way it doesn't mean that i mean out of their minds it doesn't mean that you're dating five people at the same time or in being intimate with five people at the same time that's not what that means it just means that you're interested and you don't really um you don't really have a preference you just go with the energy the vibes the attraction the intimacy the, the yeah if you're feeling them you're feeling them doesn't matter what gender they come what sh shape gender or form that they come in so um, we do have, so restful energy, I feel like you're having a lot of fun. I feel like you're, you're, you're exploring a lot of yourself 
or you're needing to, this is what you need to know, that you need to explore. You need to branch out and, and open your, your mind a little bit, open up your, your you know, your, if you're interested in something, don't let it just sit within you. You have to, like, tap into it because then you're never going to know. You're going to have to, what if, what if, what if, or am I, am I, am I, but you shouldn't be in that position for the rest of your life, like, thinking, am I, would I, is this, blah, 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 because then you'll, you'll, yeah, be looking over the green, the, the side of the green, where the green is. So if you don't explore all that, you'll be thinking that the other side is always greener. And that's the mentality you'll always be in. And that's not a way to live. You want to make sure that the grass is not greener, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So it's saying boundaries. It's saying choose, choose what, choose what you're going to do with yourself. Are you going to explore or are you going to stay hidden? See how this, this, there's a lot of hiding here, a lot of hiding. You have an eclipse here. Yeah, it's like you have to come out and just have your fun. Now, that's the what you need to know. Yeah, boundaries. You need to decide. You need to, you know, come through, um, explore, and have your fun. Be, look, be restless. There you go. Have your fun. Now, this energy right here, this is your obstacles in your sexuality. Breaking illusions and scattered. Illusions, scattered. Illusions. It could be, you know, f okay, let's, let's try to relate to you. Okay, let's say if, if I was in, in this particular, um, in these shoes. Okay, it can be that you have, okay, so you have this concept, not this pre preconcept, oh my gosh, I can't speak. You have this vision of how whatever you're interested in would look like so you have this vision or you know what people are maybe you're watching a lot of shows a lot of videos a lot of movies and you have this this whole vision in your head about what it would be like through someone else's lenses through someone else's experiences like you you know maybe you have a lot of people who are um let's say you have maybe you have a a, a friend or a a couple of friends who are married but they're in they're the same gender gender same gender marriage right and so you're like oh, okay that's that's it that's cool that's how it would look like if i was in that situation or or maybe you're watching a lot of shows or whatever um this is you you know your illusion i don't know if you're just living through other people living vicariously through other people or you just have this this whole assumption that if you were in this situation that this is that you would be happy this way or that you were um this is what your life would be like or i don't know if you're like in your in your mind a lot and that's what i'm saying like you need to uh you need to choose something you need to explore things yourself not live through the tv lens or someone else's life or what you think it is what you think it is to be gay or what you think it is to be bisexual or biromantic or whatever label you feel i don't know whatever comes to your mind whatever and so scattered, yeah, you're all over the place. Illusion, scattered, yes. This is like all in your mind, floating in your mind. Yeah, like a lot of thoughts just getting in the way of what you what you want to explore, what you want to become. Or um, you're like, maybe you're talking yourself out of it. You're like, I want to explore this, but no. Nobody's going to understand me or nobody's going to accept me. This seems interesting. But then I have to explain myself to others and I have to come out and yeah, you know. So, of course, there's a lot of nerv nervousness or anxiety. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Sure, I understand. So those are your obstacles. Um, and you see how she's pulling her face off. Maybe she's living a facade, a, a, a fabricated life. Maybe she's lying to herself. Maybe she's putting on a face that she wants everybody to see but down deep down inside she's she's not really or he is not really put together because they're, they're yeah they're all over the place they don't know what they want to do it's hard you know it's hard to gather yourself and and figure out who you are so you're like you're, maybe you're just feeling like all out of sorts so um like a pieces to a puzzle all over the place so that's why we have the boundaries card here but anyway this, um, the next one is the justice card for your guidance on your sexuality. What you should do. Look, justice is here. 
justice is saying do what is right for yourself do what you feel is the best option close your eyes and decide that's what look she has her eyes closed what are you willing to do what are you comfortable enough to do are you wanting to explore yourself deeply and see what's what maybe you can find a group yes i would recommend finding a forum a group i would recommend finding finding someone who is actually in your life in real life you know so that you can pick their brains even if they've been gay all their lives even if they've been straight all their lives you can still sound you know bounce ideas off of each other and confide in each other it doesn't matter they, they're probably needing a friend too so this is saying balance find a balance in your life the flow flow i think maybe yeah things are a little scattered find that flow so you can test you're not gonna know if you don't test the waters if you don't get out there and explore look be this restful energy explore have fun and then we have look what this card says look restful energy she's having fun this card says have fun that's the guidance for this balance this balance card this justice do what's right have your fun make time for fun see if you don't you're never going to explore whatever is deep down inside of you that's screaming to get out look lady in red that's the strength card to me that's like vibrancy that's life that's energy that's like come on come on out let's let's have fun let's do this you know Scree you're screaming to come out and explore either maybe you've been great all your life and you want to see what it's like to be with it, the opposite sex you know maybe you're you that you grew up attracted to the same gender but then now you're like having a, a shift a change and you're like but i want to see what it's like to actually be with this with the opposite gender you know whatever the case is this is very fluid i would say so i think that you're very open-minded to whatever energy you know that you come in contact with if you're vibing with them if you're on the same wavelength if you're there's some chemistry and you don't care what gender they are you're all about the energy but i feel like you need to tap more into it and don't be shy about it like really let your let yourself come out and enjoy those moments with those people you know have fun that's what i have for you thank you for watching please reach out to those people who you can count on and relax with be yourself with sorry and have fun with all right pile number two we have the orange calcite and before we get started if you would like to exchange energy for energy with me i would love to invite you to join our youtube memberships it's a way to give back to the channel support the channel keep the fun train going more pick cards all that good stuff the join button is right next to my subscribe button or i do have patreon and it's the same stuff it's just a different platform and i thank you for your support All right, we're going to go with the first card that we popped up with, Masculine. And then we have Clarifiers, Fantasy, and Sensitivity. So I think this pile in particular does gravitate towards masculinity. You feel very attracted to this energy. We have Fantasy, a lot of thoughts, a lot of... Uh, in your mind again we have a okay in the first part we had illusions we had scattered so and now we have fantasy so yeah check out part number one also that might, might be another part of you that you're missing out on or need to explore more on but this yeah in this specific pile i feel that there's a lot of like attraction to this energy for sure and then we have the sensitivity yes so you're very uh it's like you get you get weak in the knees or whatever whenever you <laughs> whenever this um whenever you're whenever this presence comes into your like uh, the male a male presence comes into your your field of vision it's like ah you know like you get very like like a kid in a candy store like i want that one i want that one i want that one i want that one and this can be that you're just very um yeah very sensitive like very like just one little one little uh look at someone and you're you're falling in love or <laughs> you're like okay signed sealed delivered 
I'm yours. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that's the chem that's like the energy that that's, that's going on right now. You definitely, you're definitely into this, into this for sure, for sure. And, and you know what? I would say, if you're in your mind a lot, you need to uh, bring it to reality. Don't be in your mind a lot. If this is what you want, go for it. If this is what you're looking for, go for it. Um, don't let it be in your in your head too much, you know. Ta that that playful card came out in part number one. It's saying enjoy, have fun, explore what you're interested in. Because if you don't, you're gonna live in the what if, what if, what if, what if. You're gonna be in your head forever in la la land, fantasizing about what it's like. So um, explore and do you know do what you feel is right for yourself, and you know ha find friends that you can be yourself with. Uh, very look Pisces you have moon and Pisces and you have the Neptune card here okay so the next one we're going to clarify is so that's what you need to know and the, the obstacle is the balance the balance is, is like your big thing I don't know like something's maybe you're trying to um, it, could, it could be that you're trying to what's it called you're trying to live two lives, you know, like that first card we had someone putting on a mask. Maybe you're, 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 this is all like something hidden, you know, that's deep down inside the fantasies that you like the mask of energy. But surface level, it's like you're trying to put on a different front for other people. Balance is here. It's saying <clears throat> you're trying, it's like you're, you're trying to live. You're trying to live your life, but you're also trying to live a life that other people want you to live. You know? Um, you're trying to make everybody happy, but you're forgetting yourself in the process. So that's that's one message. The other message is that maybe you need to choose. You need to choose, make a choice so that you're not all over the place, so that you're not in your fantasy, in your mind all the time, so that you're not, yes, yeah, scattered. You're not... Like this, it's saying choose a lane or choose your groove. What is your groove that's going to keep you leveled? What is going to make you happy? And the balance could also be that maybe you swing both ways. You know, gender fluid. That can be another part of you. But it seems like the majority is masculinity. I mean, like the, the, the main influence or the main attraction is that. So this can be that maybe this is what you are now, balance. You like, maybe you're, you know, still, you're still um, attracted to one, but you have a desire for another. You know what I'm saying? So we have mischief. So, <laughs> so in the other, in part number one, we we had fun, make time for fun, and then we also had restless energy, which looked like the the lady was having. A, a little bit of mischief, right? And then we have the grounding. So it's like, have your fun. Have your fun. Have your fun. Stay stay true to yourself. Come back to reality. Stay true. Don't be all in, in your mind. And the fan, You know, the fantasy card came out for a reason, right? It's saying, stay true to yourself. Have your fun. And come back to reality. <laughs> you know? So, the, yeah. Have your fun. And do your thing. And then decide what you want. Don't, yeah, don't be all over the place. Like, decide, make a choice. Explore that. But if you do like both, then explore both. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, but it's saying be you. Be you. Have your fun. Be you. Ground yourself. That's you, you know, setting your, putting your, your toes in the, in the mud. And say, you know what, this is me. This is me. This is who I've become, who I am. I love myself. I love who I am right now. So own it. Own it. Ground. Own it. That's what I'm getting. Own it. Find your groove and own it. All right. The next one is your guidance to... This is your guidance on what you should do. So this is saying to me, I had to clarify some more cards, cycles. It could be that maybe, I don't know if you're, you have things on rotation, you know, where you go through phases where you're attracted to this, 
for like half the year. And then all of a sudden, you're, it's not interesting you anymore. And then you go back to what you were doing. You know? Uh, let's say you're in a relationship with your husband or your wife. And then you're, everything's good for six months. But then the rest of the year, you're like in your mind. like, oh, wait a minute. But I do have this, I do have this interest for, for this. Maybe it comes in, in waves and phases, you know? So maybe it is, it, it, you know, man, someone is watching. I think that this is for some of you. I think you're already in a relationship. And so now you're like, you're going through this. You're going through this of trying to find yourself, explore yourself. But you're in a relationship, so it's a little bit tricky. You can't really fully explore yourself if you're with someone because then it might confuse that relationship or jeopardize the relationship, you know? That's not what your partner signed up for. So it's like, okay, what do I do? How do I be my tr true authentic self? How do I own myself and still be with my partner? So it's like a real weird situation for you. It's really tricky also. And it's very, it's very like, like all over the place. Like maybe that's why we have the fantasy card because it's like you're envisioning yourself if, you know, things were different with your partner or if you weren't with your partner, perhaps how things would be, you know. So um, that's what I'm getting with the cycles. It's like it comes in waves like you're good for a few months. And then all of a sudden you have that interest again. You're like battling. You're battling. And then did we get that justice card for you? That balance card? I forget what we got for you because. Um, oh, we do. We did have the grounding. Look what came out. Yes, look at that. Grounding. And I shuffled again and we got grounding. Stay grounded. So it's saying, it's like saying, come back to reality. What is it that you want? Don't be in your head. Don't have these phases. It's like you're good with your current situation. You're like, yes, yes, yes. This is awesome. And then when things aren't good, you start exploring another part of yourself. You're trying to figure out, because it's you're, you're still there. It's still there. It's lingering in the back of your mind, but you're trying to push it away because you're in a relationship, you know? So stay grounded means to either choose a lane, choose something. What is it going to be? Is it going to be your person that you're with or is it going to be your other side that you need to explore? Because you still don't know what that is yet. So it's kind of like grounding also. It's kind of, it's like to me, it's like saying something is holding you down. Gravity is pulling you down and you're not able to rise something's holding you like like a like a ball and chain and it could be all in your mindset it's not it's not anybody nobody's holding you down nobody's confining you it's all in the mindset you know it could be that bur that ball and chain or that burden it's not really a burden but it feels like it it feels like weight it's only because you feel devoted to your person and you don't want to break their heart or break their trust so you feel that if you explore your other side, that you're betraying them. And that is the burden. That's the ball and weight, the ball and chains. That's the heavy, heavy, heavy anchor. And so you have to figure, you have to, you got to figure it out. You got to figure it out or else you're going to be going through cycles for the rest of your life. Saying, yes, I'm with my partner. Oh, wait a minute. But there's another side of me that I want to explore. Yep, I'm, with, I'm devoted. I'm married. Yes, but oh, wait a minute. There's another side I want to figure out and so you gotta you gotta figure that crap out because if you don't you're gonna be you're gonna be confused for the rest of your life so anyway you you know somebody is watching so it can be that yeah you have a you have a, you have something already you already in a relationship so you need to figure out your real self like what is it that you're you're gonna do what is it that you're gonna do what is it that you're what what where is gravity taking you it's pulling you down but in what like what direction are, do you want to go down in? Like, you have choices. Don't forget, you have power, you have choices. So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this made sense. It's like, I can go on and on and on, but I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm going to go around in circles. Let me pull one more card. What's the guidance for you? Yeah, I definitely feel like that you're already in a relationship, so it's like, you're. it's hard to explore the opposite of what you're in because... It's, yeah. Then you got to bring your, your those people with you. Beginnings. Look, beginnings. So 
there could be a potential uh, change. 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 This, the poten some, this potential. Look, we have shadows. So you're, in, you're hiding and harvest. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. We have beginnings and then we have harvest. Abundance. So that's just saying there's opportunities, there's possibilities for you to get those answers, figure it out. Those doors are going to open for you once you figure yourself out. And sh things are going to come out, come to the light. Things are going to come to the light. Those shadows, they're not going to be shadows anymore. There's going to be beams of light. You're going to find your answers very soon. Look, beginnings. Oh my gosh, a new change, a new start. A lot of doors opening for you. Or pumpkins to pick. All right, that's what I have for you. Pile number two. And now we're going to be on to pile number three. Pile number three, you chose this pink love quartz. Let's see what we can find out for you, my friends. Oh, we have love. Do we have love in this spread? We have this, this gentleman here in the water. He's up, he's uh, uh, staying afloat. He's just having a good time. He's pondering. He's in his mind. And we clarified by, we clarified that by independence and pleasure. And look, we have water again in these cards. Moon in Aries and the fifth house. I feel with you, this is very uh, gender fluid. You appreciate both. You are interested in both. You know what I'm saying? Um, you go wherever. Yeah, look, we have the pleasure card here. We have independence. You go wherever the energies take you, the vibes, the attraction, the feelings. Uh, very, there's a lot, yeah, a lot of flow, a lot of water here. Flow, flow, flow. You go in whatever direction the chemistry takes you. You know? And I feel that you're in between. Yeah, in between. See how he's just in there. He's not further, fur, he's not really submerged in the water and he's not really above the water. He's like right in between. He's in the water, but he's also out of the water. So that's what I'm getting for that. So that's what you need to know is that there's something down, deep down inside. It's very, um, I would say there's a, there's like an even scale. It's like you can, you're fine either way. You, you don't really, it's like you're not, what's it called? You're not um, married to one idea. You just go with the flow, you know? Wow, that rhymes. I didn't mean to. I didn't, I didn't mean to. All right, the next one is, that's, the, that's what you need to know. Pleasure. You're going wherever the, the, the chemistry takes you, wherever the mood takes you. That's what you're, yeah. So very, very uh, fluid here. Then we have, we have this lady right here. And I'm going to clarify with my, my fall deck. Why? So this, in this p position, this is the obstacle that you're encountering right now. So this is what you're in the middle of. This is you having a hard time showing yourself, having a hard time uh, living and being authentic, you know, like uh, telling people like it is, you know, telling your truth. You have a hard time being authentic or you have, a, you know, not authentic, like real. It just means you have a hard time being the true you. And maybe it's very hard for you to, to do that because of, you know, whatever, whatever um, surroundings you're in. You know, it could be that you maybe you live in a small town and that stuff is not a, and it's maybe you live in a small town and it's not appreciated or accepted. Um, maybe you have judgy family members or, or friends or maybe a work, a work environment that, is, you know, doesn't approve. So this is you finding a hard time being your truest, true self. Uh, enjoying who you're supposed to you know, enjoying enjoying yourself 100% so this is the obstacle the obstacle is that there's a lot of uh, danger around you like you know uh, harsh not like violent danger it could be but this it could also be that there's a lot of harsh words around you Pe people who are very judgmental very or maybe just very conservative or you just you don't feel like it's just very choppy waters or murky like you can't really get deep into who you want to be or you can't share that part of you or even vocalize because of what people might say and i see these little witchy shoes here so i feel like you have to you see how like the toes are curled up i feel like you have to walk on eggshells around people 
I feel that you can't, it's like you're holding back, you're holding back, but you want to express yourself. But you're still like reserved too because you want to, it's like you want to accommodate people, their feelings. You don't want to make people feel uncomfortable or you just don't want the attention on you or you just don't want to talk about it because people don't understand. It's like why even bring it up if you're not going to open your mind about it? There's a little, little bit of uh, hesitation here. And you probably don't feel safe enough, you know. Maybe that's that's why, too. You don't feel safe enough to put yourself out there. Which I totally understand. I totally understand. And then we have, the other side of this is that you have strength. You have power. You have courage within inside of you. So this can be all, like, it depends on how you, um, how you approach, you know. How you approach people. How you share yourself they can you can just choose to be very selective with your words or you can just be very like bold about it like yep this is me take it or leave it i don't care what you have to say not care what not give a hoot what people are thinking or saying about you who gives a effing hoot who who oh my gosh i didn't mean for that to come <laughs> who gives a hoot and then i said who who wow am i an hour now Seriously, who, why do you even care? What they are worried about is none of your concerns. It's none of your, it's none of your business. Whatever people are thinking or saying about you is none of your concern. It's not the truth. So it should not affect you. That's what I'm saying. So own your power. Claim it. Dig, dig, muster up that strength, that, that courage. But do it in a safe way. If you feel like you're not safe in speaking your truth, then go with your intuition. I can't tell you to tell everybody your truth when you feel that your life could be jeopardized or that you, you know, can be verbally attacked or whatever. Like, do what you feel is right for you. I'm just saying, don't, like, dim your own light. Don't hide yourself. Be your true, authentic self. And if you can't be yourself with all these people around you that are not on the same wavelength or are understanding or... um yeah, but they're very, very toxic and negative, then you need to find a group of people that you can be yourself with, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe you need to remove yourself from this toxic toxicity. Maybe you need to find a, a group online or something. Maybe you need to change locations. I don't know, but you need to find something that's going to let you help or help you step into your strength, your power, yourself, your true self. Um, so that's what I'm getting with that. that. That's the obstacle. So now the guidance for the obstacle... I think you're going to be moving away from something because uh, she has this big shell. She's looking behind her and she looks like she's confident. Her, her back is erect. She's very like, yep, I'm doing this and what? You didn't accept me. You didn't approve of me. You didn't empower me or support me. So now I have to find another home or another safe haven, you know, where I can be my true self. People who, are, who understand me. So the, the guidance is that you need to grab your, your, your guts, your power, your smarts, your luggage perhaps, and go. Pick up and go. I know that's harsh to say or it's easier said than done. But if you don't, I think that you're going to feel so trapped in your situation, in your, in your skin. And you're going to be living for other people. That's just for some of you, not all of you. I can't say, oh, pick up and go. It's not that easy. You might have children. You might have a career that you're making a lot of money in, that you've been doing for, so, for a long time. Or it can be that you don't know where else to go. You don't have money to just pick up and go. Or you just don't know where else to, to plant your seeds because you, you, don't, you, know, it's, you can't just oh, choose something on the map and say, oh, plop, I'm going to pop myself there. Like, you, there's a lot that goes into it, you know? I'm just saying you have to remove yourself. So I think you're removing yourself either physically or emotionally saying, you know, you're, you're putting a boundary, a bubble around you, protective bubble around you. That can be that, you know, you're, you're closing your heart to certain people so that they don't, they don't hurt you anymore with their harsh words. So please help me clarify what's happening with you, the guidance, what's the guidance for you, pound number three, what's the guidance for you. Patience is your friend and rest is required. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes. Rest. 
This is saying you gotta put something, you gotta put something at ease in your life. Put something to rest. Patience is your friend, so things will change in due time. We have seek out solitude. You're needing peace, peace of mind. You're you need to look, look behind you and say goodbye. Good riddance. This is not serving me anymore. This is not doing me any good. I have to go forward. You go into more calmer waters. I'm getting like the six of swords. It's rocky behind you, but in front of you is just chill. It's relaxed. You probably found people find will find people who are like you. And it's gonna be so easy to talk with them and be with be yourself around them. Look, rest. You're gonna be able to rest your mind and not struggle with what you're dealing with. So that's what I have for you. Do your own thing, find out who you are and rock it, own it, and see where that takes you. See where life see what life has in store for you. Solitude, look at that. Solitude rest. No more stress, right? Stress free stress free environment. But it's gonna it might take some time for you to get there. You gotta muster up the strength. You have that strength, don't forget. That strength card didn't come out for for no reason. Where is it? Look, pleasure isn't isn't look, pleasure is, is to look forward. You gotta look forward to pleasure. Independence, look at that. Seek out solitude. Ple independence, you yeah, this is you stepping out of your current situation that is not serving you. And don't forget your strength. Strength. You have it in you. It's just that we need to, you know, dig it up. Act like the pirate and dig up the gold. Dig up the treasure. Seek pleasure. Dig up that treasure. Let me stop. Okay, I'm V. Really, thank you for your time. Let me know if this resonates. And good luck finding your true, true self. And let me know what that is down below. Bye-bye.